Well, shopping at secure websites, if we're talking about online shopping, is very important. And you know when you're on a secure website, it has the little lock. Sometimes the lock's at the top or it's at the bottom. So you know it's a secure website. A lot of people are doing more shopping from home because they don't have to stand in lines. You know, they don't have to leave the comfort of their own home. So the increase of credit card fraud online is a huge problem. So again, it's, that's why it's really important for you to make sure that you have your firewall and your antiviruses up to date if you are going to shop online because otherwise hackers can come in and get into your computer and get all your information off of it. Um, make sure that beware of phishing. Uh, phishing is when you get those emails where they're asking you information. Your bank's never going to email you or ask you for personal information on the phone or in an email. The best advice I could give to someone is don't open emails from people you don't know. When you, go on, when you go in to check your email, if you don't know who it is, don't open it. Just delete it. Um, when you go on to sites like eBay, always use PayPal. If anybody ever asks you to wire money, don't do it because you're that money is going to be gone. Wiring is not the way to pay. It's always, you always need to use uh, PayPal. I, I guess this goes along with phishing too, but looking at a trusted name isn't always enough. No, but we'll look at what happened to TJ Maxx. Even if it was a secure website, they can still get in there. They can still go in the back door and, you know, hack into the sites. So, but you're lessening your chances of your card being compromised if you're shopping on a secure site. So that's why it's really important that you just make sure that the site is secure. A lot of people, they want something so badly, they don't care whether it's on a secure website. But again, reiterating, checking your statements, checking your accounts, making sure if you're able to look at them on a daily or a weekly basis, if something does get compromised, you'll be able to catch that quicker and lessen the loss to yourself. You can um, put several walls around your financial castle. Exactly, exactly. It's up to you. I mean, it's, it's, it's your, your personal information. It's your bank. It's your information. So obviously, it needs to be you that does the checking. You kind of have to be almost a detective of your own finances and of your own personal information.